On September 30, 1990, the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child came into force after it was ratified by all the world members. The convention particularly stressed that every child has an inherent right to life and services like health, education, general well-being, care and support. Article 2 of the convention says that state parties should ensure the rights of each child without discrimination, irrespective of the children or their parents' color, race, sex, religion or origin. Uganda domesticated the convention later that year. It was officials like Cassiano Wadri, a former commissioner for children, who made sure it was understood and embraced by all Ugandans. We had a daunting task, sensitizing communities on the rights of the child. And in many places, if not 100%, many of our communities during that time had the feeling that uh, the, 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 the ears of an African child are on the buttocks. In one of the sensitization drives, Cassiano was arrested by LRA rebels in Chuero sub-county in Gulu district. I was in captivity for over eight hours. And, uh, you know, they were asking me, issues in, in, in Kiswahili. They said, unatoka wapi? They said, matoka Kampala. They said, unainda wapi? Mekuja kufanya kazi. The Ministry of Gender, which was then called the Ministry of Rehabilitation, then came up with a program to harmonize some of the laws like the Succession Act and the Child Labor Act. So that you don't have to say under the Approved Schools Act the child is this, Reformatory School Act the child is this, Probation Act the child is this, Affiliation Act the child is defined this, under Succession Act the child is defined this. We realized that a child was a child, regardless of the nature of circumstances in which he or she is. The commission, drawn from different ministries, came up with the Children's Statute of 1996, which became an act a few years later. Wadri also rose through the ranks at the ministry, from rehabilitation officer to commissioner of children in 1997, until he resigned to contest for the Terrego County seat. Ask about the emerging trends in child crime, including adoption, child sacrifice and trafficking. Wadri concurs with those advocating for an amendment. And I will pray that the minister responsible for children affairs should have brought this thing yesterday and not today. This thing should have been brought. But we are still looking. We hope one time they will be able to see the urgency for the need of this uh, amendment that they are able to bring to us and we will give it time. He is also calling for budgetary provisions for issues of child protection and well-being. It is not enough for us just to come and uh, make these laws. It is more important for us to carry out an oversight on government ministries. But it's very unfortunate, I want to tell you, at the times we get frustrated on the floor of the house. Because parliament, I can ably say parliament is a, a rubber stamp. Parliament does not determine what amount of money goes where. But he also says parents should change their attitude on issues of children's rights and protection. Even under the same act, to neglect to provide basic necessities for a child is a criminal act. But how many times do you think the police getting involved in arresting and prosecuting adults for these offenses, as actively as it is with the, uh, with the corruption cases, with the murder cases, with the traffic offenses? And to the children, the Terrago County legislator had this counsel. They thought that rights were absolute, that you as a child can do anything and get with it without having a you know, recourse to correctional measures. And they also failed. And it was our responsibility to explain to the public that rights go with the responsibilities. Wadri held several positions at the ministry since he joined as a junior regional officer in 1981. He has represented the country at several international fora on children. As the world marks the 25th anniversary of the ratification of the Convention on the Rights of the Child, UNICEF, Uganda Child Rights NGO Network and NTV have partnered to profile individuals like Wadri for their contribution to the protection of children. Moses Sakena, NTV. Yeah.